Hi, you night scholars. My name's Katie. I am in the middle of finishing, well, actually past the middle of finishing my MSW degree, Master in Social Work. I kind of want to just go over what made me decide to go back to school. Um, I'm 31. I am a little bit older than a lot of people in my class and then I have older people than me in my class. So it really just depends on where you are in life and when you decide to grow and make changes and sometimes it takes a little longer than others. When I graduated high school, which was 2007, I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do. I always was creative but I also was working at a gym, always loved being active. I was always an athlete as a kid. I said to myself, why don't I do a two-year degree first? So I went ahead and went to Housatonic Community College in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is not far at all. And I commuted for two years and I got my associate's degree in just general studies. Um, still working at the gym, working a couple other part-time jobs and just kind of saw where that went. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna continue this. I got my associates, had those certifications, and I decided to go to Western Connecticut State University, one of the state universities of Connecticut, and I believe the major was health, health promotion, so it was a little bit different than what kinesiology is in exercise science. It was kind of like I had two options with this degree. I was able to become a gym teacher or somebody within the health field when it came to like nutrition um, for corporate places or schools. And I just, I, it wasn't for me. Um, I, I was like, there's something more. I want to do something more. So I decided to transfer after a few semesters and I went into athletic training. If you think nursing is tough, Athletic training is very tough. It's a great option, but extremely competitive. And after a couple semesters of that, I decided to go into just exercise science, which is like kinesiology. It's the study of anatomy and physiology, and then it goes much deeper than that. I was 95 credits into my bachelor's degree, my undergrad, and I had this turning point in my life. I was like, I, I need to do something else. Like there's something else that I need to do that's like creative. And I was very blessed and very lucky to have the opportunity to kind of drop out of college, which sounds kind of ridiculous, but it happens. And I left college and I went to cosmetology school, got a cosmetology license within a year, and I became a hairstylist. Um, I was very good at what I did. It's an art, it's a craft. I did that for about six years. I came to a point where I was like, I, I still have more to do and I don't know what it is, but there's more. Um, and mind you, just as a side note here, I always loved the idea of therapy and becoming a therapist, but I think I just never had the confidence to say, you can do that. Um, I've always worked in a helping field. I always loved helping people. So I just wasn't, I wasn't confident enough to think that I would want to do that much more school. I'm at this point where I'm like six years into doing hair and I decided to go back and finish my bachelor's degree. I finished my degree accelerated pretty much as fast as I could. It was intense um, because I was working full time still and I was doing an accelerated program when I hadn't been in school for quite a few years. So I got my bachelor's. I went through a couple jobs that just didn't fully resonate with me and it just wasn't meant to be. I gotta do something about this. like. I have so much passion for helping. I was working at one job and I met someone there, um, actually a client, she became a client. She was also a social worker, clinical social worker, and she pushed me to apply to grad school. And she told me, Katie, you have to go. You were meant to do this. She's like, this is coming from a social worker. This is coming from a clinical social worker, somebody who works with people every day and does this. And I'm telling you, I know you, been around you long enough to know that you would do an amazing job at this and this would be a great career for you. So I decided to um, apply to grad school. 
literally like days after I spoke to her, it was just like, I, I have to do this. It was like this huge push from her, the universe. And as I was talking to people, I was talking to my mom, who's very supportive. We decided it was the right thing to do. And I am forever grateful that I made this decision because I went into it with this mindset that I was just going to conquer this, conquer it. I was going to do the best that I could. It was like, it was like being older made things so much easier and it was so much more clear to know what I was meant to do. Long story short, I'm almost graduated as an MSW student. This is, I'm nearing the end of the semester and I'm about to start my last semester ever, you know, this upcoming year. And it's an amazing feeling to know that I didn't doubt myself of all the hardships and there's a lot of challenges that I didn't mention here and I don't even know if it's really worth it so much because I think we all have a lot of challenges in life and a lot of things that come up that we don't expect and it kind of throws us off the path a little bit. The moral of that story and um, coming from trauma and coming from someone who is still technically in recovery, I have a good understanding of being able to meet people where they're at. You know, this this internship that I'm in right now is the biggest blessing. Um, I couldn't be happier at all. I literally intern, and I'll just say I work because it's work. Um, I work on a farm in Woolkit, Connecticut. It's absolutely drop-dead beautiful. But I get to have animals around me all the time, which is so me because I love animals. Um, and I get to do my therapy sessions with clients outside. I don't even know what to call it because I'm just so blessed and grateful for the opportunity. I was nervous. I wasn't even going to get a placement because of the pandemic. There's a lot of, uh, students right now that weren't able to get internships. When I was younger, I didn't take school so seriously. I didn't love being in school. I didn't, and you know what it was? It was because I didn't fully find my passion yet. I didn't fully understand what it's like to do something, even though I'm paying for it and it's expensive and books are expensive and I can't work really a paid job at all. So I'm not making much money. I, I made those sacrifices. And it's like when you are following your heart and your soul and your passion, it's like none of it matters. You sacrifice and you don't worry about it. And that's the biggest piece of advice I could give you is when you decide to follow your heart and have dreams and have the confidence to grow and to go towards your dreams, it's an amazing feeling. And I cannot tell you to do that more because I don't know what my life would have been like if I didn't do it. And I know that best decision I have ever made so far in my entire 31 years of life is going back to school to become a social worker. And I kind of just feel like I'm like a catalyst for someone's unique and, and individual healing journey. So that's pretty much what I have got to say. I wanted to kind of give you my journey and my story about how many different directions I took throughout life and I'm not your typical person who graduates high school and knows exactly what they want to do um, because let me tell you when I graduated high school I thought I wanted to do a million different things um, but like I said there were certain things that just resonated and I followed it. Um, my path maybe was a little bit longer maybe a lot longer than a lot of other people's but I would not have I wouldn't give that up for a second. I wouldn't give it up for anything because what this shows is that resilience is real and you're all resilient. And I am blessed to be here speaking in front of you and sharing my story and never would I have thought I would have done that, but I think it's important. And I think it's important that you know that you're all beautiful and you're all growing and to never forget how important it is to listen to your heart and to listen to your soul when it's time to change something, when it's time to let go of something, um, and when it's time to heal. And 
you know, life, life is about growing. So to grow, we have to get uncomfortable. So whenever you start to feel uncomfortable when you do something, um, just know that those are growing pains um, and they're only going to better you. They're going to make you stronger. So I think the moral of the story here is resilience. Um, keep being resilient. Keep smiling. Be happy. Love you all. Nani paga moyo ni kesa kulia chuzana futia.